Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VI! Since last time, sold all my excess equipment and some of my current equipment to get up to 6,000 gold, you can see on the top screen there. Should be good enough for what I want to do today. Uh, I also sold uh, Carver's Iron Claw because I needed the money to get up to 6,000. You don't have to do that, but it would be a good idea. Uh, another thing I want to do is I want to give the pot lid to Millie that I got earlier. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. It's not that critical. And I also want to give her the silver TR. That'll help out with uh, her defense there early on there. Alright! So I've already saved at the church here so that we can save scum. I mean, uh, pray to the goddess for good fortune. Both literally and figuratively. Now we'll head to the casino. Now that we're visible, we can actually play there. Hooray! But first, we need to get our startup capital. Ideally, you should have like 6,000 gold. But if you only have 4,000, that's okay. So if you have 4,000, buy 200 tokens. I'm fortunate enough to have uh, 6,000 to buy 300. That'll really help us out a lot to uh, get started here. I would not start this with 100 tokens. It, it would take forever to get the ball rolling there. Let's see what we can get here at the casino. Got some pretty good stuff here. Let's see, uh, up top there we got the Magic Water, which is kind of like an ether in the Final Fantasy games. Restores a little bit of MP. They're really good for the longer dungeons of the game. So, uh, eventually we may want to get some of those, but not right now. Uh, we got Silk Tuxedos. They can really increase your style stats, but the reason why I'm actually more interested in them is because you can sell them for 2,625 gold, which will give you the best return on investment for your casino tokens there. So I'm going to want to get six of those eventually, so that way I can buy some real of them. And we also get Yggdrasil Leaves, just like every other Dragon Quest game. You, you can revive someone who got killed off, and they get back to full HP. It's really helpful until we learn Kazing to do the same thing. Uh, Kamikaze Bracers, I don't really care about. They are way too expensive, and I don't really care about the effect that they have. But uh, the real big thing that I want to get here are a couple Dragon Shields and Platinum Mails. Not only do they have really high defense for this point in the game, but they also have some elemental resistances too. Like, the Dragon Shield reduces fire and ice breath damage by 15, which is huge for the first half of the game. Uh, Platinum Mails reduce all magic damage by 15, except zap damage. Uh, but most importantly, that includes whoosh, or wind elemental attacks, like wind sickles, thin air, pearly gates. Wind elemental attacks are just really common in this game, and very deadly. And Platinum Males have the highest wind resistance of any armor in the game for male characters. So we're going to want to get a couple of those. So uh, to get everything I want, I'm going to want 14,000 casino tokens. But I'd also like to have a surplus of 2,700 for future gambling needs. So that's 16,700 there. Now I know what you're thinking of H.C. Bailey, how can we ever earn so many tokens with just 300 to start with? Well, in order to do that, I recommend gambling on the 100 coin slot machine. Right in the middle there. So, let's check it out. Uh, kind of like uh, Dragon Quest II in a way, except you can't really manipulate them very easily. Uh, you got five reels there, three symbols each. And uh, when you get a pattern that matches one of the combinations up top there, you multiply your bet by the number above. But if but if you only bet 100 tokens, only the middle row is going to be counted for winning. So to increase your odds, you want to press up uh, three times so that way you can bet 100 tokens on each row there. If you make a profit, then you can go back to the church, save, come back, and keep trying. Ideally, I would like to have 900 tokens so I could bet 300 tokens on each reel to max it out there. Multiply that until you get up to 2,700, and then you'll have like three chances to win with 900 tokens uh, each before you have to reset and get your uh, tokens back there. So usually it only takes me about 20, 25 minutes to get the tokens I want, 
But I've had it take me as long as like 38 minutes sometimes. So uh, if you really don't want to do this, you don't have to. But it's far more efficient to just roll the bones than to grind for levels and money. Especially when I want to keep my experience levels low there. So let's see how uh, well we can do on the first try there. Nuts. Okay, well that didn't work out too well, so I'm going to reload my save file, buy the tokens again, and then well, I'll be right back so that way I can uh, try to win something. Okay, we're back. Let's uh, see how well we can do this time. Still trying to get the ball rolling here. Once you get like 900 tokens, then you can start really earning casino tokens pretty fast there but all right um i wouldn't go back and save just for this amount if i had like 600 then i probably would have done it but now now we'll just uh try that one again my goal right now is to get up to 900 tokens come on hey not bad not bad okay now i got a thousand so that'll really help out so yeah i'm gonna go back to the uh, church, pray for some more winnings, save, of course, and, well, then I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Let's, uh, try this one again. I'm not gonna show every single, uh, reel that I do, because that would take too long. But we'll see how I can do here. Ooh, watermelons. Those give a pretty good... Uh, boost there. All right. Well, we got over 2,700, which was my next goal there. So, yeah, you can win a lot of tokens when you can bet 300 on each reel here. Okay, well, I've been trying to win more, but, well, I'm losing quite a bit of money there. Or I could just win the most amount of tokens that I've ever gotten from this game. Why not? Yeah, my my personal best before starting this LP was 200,000 tokens. But, uh, wow. 300,000? I have never gotten that many. I only wanted, like, 16,700, and now I got 300k. So, well, there you go, viewers. It took me about, uh, 20, 25 minutes to win that amount in real time that is i was not abusing save states to just guarantee my win i guess you'll just have to believe me on that can't really prove that but anyway all right so we uh want to get a couple of those dragon shields unfortunately the ladies can't uh equip the dragon shields or the platinum males but well we're gonna get some other stuff to help out with that so we'll be fine but yeah this will really help out in uh, the mid game here. Or not mid game, uh, early game. Well, even the mid game. Platinum males, I use almost the entire game. They are that good for their elemental resistances. I use other armor too, but platinum males have a lot of longevity. Unfortunately, you can't just buy platinum males or uh, dragon shields. But anyway, with the silk tuxedos, what I'm doing is I'm throwing them all in the bag instead of giving them to one of my party members. Because if you put them on your party members, they'll take up one slot for each of them. Whereas in the bag there, they stack however much you want. And then I can just sell them all at once instead of one at a time if it were in one of my characters' inventories there. So I want to get six of those so I can buy everything I want. I could buy some Yggdrasil leaves or magic waters, but I don't think that's necessary right now. If I do decide to do that, I will do it off screen later. But alright, we got the good armor and everything that we needed. Well, almost everything. Now, in order to get my initial startup capital, I had to sell... Uh, what is it? Millie's Bronze Knife and Carver's Iron Claw there. So I'm gonna have to buy new weapons for them. I mean, I will get some better weapons in the relatively near future anyway. Let's see how we're doing there. Okay, yes. Yeah, put that in the bag. 
Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Rex is looking good there. What happened to the pot? I I'm, I'm, I must have reset after I equipped them on screen before. And when I lost that first uh, reel at the casino there. So, yeah, I forgot to uh, re equip those. But, okay. Well, we got those. Like I said, if you don't have the pot lid, it's not that critical. It's just like two points of defense. But it's slightly more optimal. But anyway, okay, we need to get a new weapon for a couple of my party members. So let's get the Thorn Whip for Millie there. If you don't have the money for that, don't worry about it. I'm, we're going to find a new weapon for her in the very near future anyway. But I just want to put something on her just to have something there. And let's see. I could buy the... Uh, the chain sickle for Carver there. But, you know, let's just go back with the iron claw that I had before. So, besides, I'm gonna buy something even better than both of those two in the relatively near future, anyway. But, we pretty much don't have any money problems for the remainder of the game. The uh, silk tuxedos really help out with that a lot. But, anyway, yeah, we're pretty much at full, or almost at full. So now I want to get back to the other world there, where we came from. So we got to go back to All Trades Abbey and get down to the well in the basement there. Basically, what I want to do now, well, now that we're in vi or now that we are visible, I want to get over to Wellshire there that we went to before, but the people couldn't see us. But now they can. And I'd also like to uh, stop by uh, Weaver's Peak here to buy something that we couldn't buy before. But anyway, remember they had this piece of armor that they uh, we didn't have the money for? Well, now we do! So yeah, this is a pretty easy uh, piece of equipment to miss, but it's really, really good. It's got some good elemental resistances and a lot of defense and... I don't know if everyone can equip it, but I think anyone I care about, pretty much, can equip it. So it's really nice, uh, specifically for Millie there. So let's give that to her. So yeah, now we all have good elemental resistances, pretty high defense, so we're going to be nearly invulnerable for quite some time. So that'll really help us out a lot. And I also want to give the Lucida Shard to Millie there. Because, well, I don't have anything better for her to do. And her physical attacks, not that impressive there. I can equip it on her, even though it doesn't really have an equip effect, but... Well, there it is. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, okay, I thought Millie might have had something to say about that. Stop poking! Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. Oh yeah, it's a nice place. It's got a great view and everything. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, you're such a kid at Carver. I love Carver's party talk dialogue. <laughs> okay, well anyway, in order to get to Wellshire, unfortunately from Port Haven, or in that in the lower world, we can't just warp or zoom directly there, even though we've been there before. We gotta go back to Haggleton, and then, uh... We gotta drop down the hole here that we did way earlier in the game. I guess they didn't count Haggleton for us to zoom to, because we didn't have the spell at the time. That's my guess, anyway, I don't know why. But anyway, now people can uh, talk to us. I'm not going to talk to every single NPC here, because I kind of already did that before. But one of the main reasons why I wanted to come here was because, well, we can get a pretty good accessory here. Gold Bracers! And let's see, they increase your defense by 15, and that's pretty much as good as it gets for accessories in the game. And they're pretty cheap, too. So let's get one of those for everyone better than uh, the accessories we got now. Unfortunately, accessories in this game are pretty bad in general. There's no real special effects other than like uh, like the Meteorite Bracer we've had in the past couple games. and uh, There's an agility ring, but pretty much everything else really sucks for accessories. So, oh well. But hey, 15 defense, that's nothing to scoff at there. 
So yeah, they kind of trick you with that. Uh, with the shop there. You get it from the item shop, not the armor shop. Huh. No, I haven't seen anyone like that, uh, fitting that description. Hmm. wonder who they're talking about. Well, remember there was, uh, there were a couple guys behind the houses way up top there? Oh, I guess even if you say yes, you get the same dialogue. But, uh, yeah, let's rest up here. But yeah, there were a couple guys hiding behind the houses there, and they were talking about, uh, well, a kidnapping. Well, we, this is the first opportunity we have to deal with that, because, well, now we're visible. If you tried coming back here before, not a whole lot you can do about them. So, oh well. Let's see, anything else around here? I'm not going to go into all the other houses. Yep, it's a day full of booty. Oh, yeah, do the best I can. Oh, yeah, I've already talked to her. Oh, hmm, I wonder if that's the girl who the soldier was talking about. Nuts. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. You're just being paranoid, Millie. Okay, let's go. Man, that dog really likes us. What do you mean? Okay, let's go. Uh, no? What are you talking about? Oh, well, that's okay, dude, but... Oh, yeah, I know the feeling. I wonder what's going on. Let's see if we can get a little more info out of the guy. Nice. What are you gonna do? Oh, okay. Well, where did do they uh, take it then? That didn't seem like that big of a well, but I suppose if Carver could fit it in there, it must be pretty big there, huh? But anyway, okay, so yeah, remember when we left the town before to get back to the upper world, we had to go through a well to do that? Well, that's where we gotta go now. This isn't necessary to advance the plot at all. It's purely a side quest, but I figure it's good for experience and all that. So, and we get a little reward out of it, too. So, hey, why not? Oh, yeah, I guess it kind of does. Everything looks a little clearer now. Well, see what we can find. Okay, so, made it to the house here. And that was, I think, one of the guys that we were... Uh, t we saw earlier. Uh... Yeah, sure, that was us. Uh, I don't think so. What do you mean my finest gold coins? I I instead of bad gold? Fool's gold? Or what? Yeah, we we I want to know what I'm paying for, dude. Now, you actually can pay the 5,000, pay them off, and uh, rescue Cynthia there. But, you know, that's 5,000 gold. I don't want to waste a couple silk tuxedos just to get the money for that. And you can get different rewards for doing this side quest, depending on whether you paid them off or how honest you are to the chief about this. But we're going to take these guys out instead, the old-fashioned way. For boss time against big and little... They both look pretty big to me. But anyway, I want to attack uh, big first because I'm going to have Millie use the Lucida Shard, try to confuse a uh, little there. So, all right. So that'll keep him off our backside while we're taking out big there. Uh, one thing to watch out for in this fight 
is that Little can sometimes use an ability called Selflessness to cover any damage that would have been inflicted on Big there. So that's one reason why I'm going after Big first. Once you get double sap on Big, then we want to start getting sap going on Little there and re-up uh, Fuddle on uh, Little there. So that way he'll be confused. But yeah, you see how we attacked Big and then Little a actually took the damage? Well, that's why. Okay, there we go. Got it. I wouldn't even bother defending from uh, Big boosting his own attack there. Oh, wait, I already uh, confused him. That's... But, um, okay. One interesting thing about abilities like selflessness, and there's another one uh, later on that does something similar, is that, let's say Little was covering Big, and then I had Rex throw the boomerang. Both hits would affect Little, not just the one from covering uh, Big there. But yeah, with all this new armor that I've got, I'm not even worried about their attacks at all. I don't even need Millie to cast buff or anything like that or defend when they're uh, boosting their own attack or anything like that. They really can't hurt us that much. Now, this does kind of take out a lot of the challenge in the early game, but, well, there's going to be some pretty tough random enemies that we're going to be running into soon. And, well, I want to be ready for them. Because without this armor, there's not a whole lot of options for dealing with them. Oh, well. Yeah, you see how the boomerang dealt uh, both hits to Little there? Yeah, let's try and uh, get you confused again. There you go. Or they could... Wow. Usually I don't kill Little first. Hey, you really want to cover that damage? Well, whatever works for you. All right, got it. Easy enough. Woo, Dazzle, good. Yeah, that'll blind an enemy and make it very difficult for them to uh, hit us. We also learned Evac there, which is basically like the exit spell from Final Fantasy games. Warps you right out of the dungeon. Unfortunately, we didn't have that for the Lucid Grotto, but oh well. And we'll never see them again. Actually, I don't think we do. But anyway, all right. So, good job, Rex. Or, Carver. Well, a reward would be nice. What, you think I was just doing this out of the goodness of my heart? Well, that too. But, you know. Oh, hey, let's go. Yeah, we were going to kidnap her and double the ransom, but uh, we can... Oh, no. But yeah, uh, depending on your response here, and then there's another question later on. Something like that. It will determine what reward you get from it, but I don't really care either way. I just wanted to fight them. Get some good experience there for Millie, too. Two levels in one battle? Holy cow. Oh, huh? you're welcome. But anyway, yeah, so, well, in order to get the reward, we have to actually go back to Wellshire there. But what reward are we going to get for rescuing her? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest VI. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.